Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, then consider subscribing. In this subscriber question brought to us by a subscriber that I cannot recall what their name is, so I apologize, but hopefully it's enough for me to just answer the question for you. Uh, we will be covering how does insulin have an impact on muscle protein synthesis. So without further ado, if that's what you're here to find out about in a short, sweet, science-based video, let's jump right into it. You may have heard before that bodybuilders, especially enhanced bodybuilders, will inject small amounts of insulin into their body because they believe that that increases their protein synthetic response or just allows them to grow more muscle in general. Well, specifically to protein synthesis, this is actually a more contextual uh, answer because what happens is that insulin does lead to an increase in muscle protein synthesis, however, only in the presence of sufficient amino acids. And that makes some sense to think that in the bloodstream and the serum, that you don't have sufficient amounts of amino acids to then import into the cell that can eventually lead to a down regulation of muscle protein synthesis, especially if you don't have enough of those key uh, amino acids like leucine, for example. So insulin in the presence of amino acids does increase muscle protein synthesis. However, it doesn't just do that. It also increases the import of those amino acids into the cell. So removing them from the bloodstream and moving them into the muscle cells themselves. However, in the situation in which you have low amino acids, like let's say you consume a glucose heavy meal, a carbohydrate heavy meal, yet you do not consume any protein, you do not consume any amino acids, then in that situation, of course, insulin will increase, but because the serum levels of amino acids have not increased, insulin will not have an impact on your muscle protein synthetic response. So hopefully that clears things up. It's more dependent on the amino acids that are found in the bloodstream as opposed to insulin's effect itself. However, insulin does have an impact. So with that said, hopefully that answered the question to whoever was interested, and I hope I have the pleasure of speaking with you next time. Have a good one. See ya. Thank you.